Hey guys, Breaking the System. Here's part two for the video I made Friday. Uh, this is a little bit different. I'm going to finish off with the original video uh, that I had made, and then there's going to be a little bit more to the end. I hope you enjoy, and we will see y'all later. Uh, yeah, I'm not ashamed to say that uh, I I want to know too. I want to see, I mean, because, you know, I believe it without a shadow of a doubt. But I still have an open mind to the sense of, to the sense of if somebody was to fly over Antarctica, would I believe it? Well, I don't know. But, if, if there was a way to prove that somebody could fly over Antarctica and actually prove 100% that this is really Antarctica, like with all the, like say for instance, I'll give an example of what I'm talking about because it's so much easier to explain it this way. Um, if a, a, a person decided, okay, you know what, we're going to take this trip, took a compass, a GPS coordinates reader and a um, some sort of watch that uh, a mechanical watch that did not stop um, and the reason I say mechanical is digital can be uh, manipulated very easily um, technically speaking mechanical can too but it's a little bit more difficult um, but anyway take all that stuff plus a recording of it you know have that stuff in the background and a recording of someone flying over Antarctica the entire time um, then then I would probably start believing it you know fly straight straight across Antarctica I you know the South Pole but see I don't think I don't believe it I don't believe it to be possible and I believe that's one big reason why they put in the Antarctic Treaty. Uh, I'm starting to go off rabbit trails now, but you know, I I I want to know. No, I believe it to where I know, but I want to know. No, I want I want such cold hard proof that it's either a globe or a flat surface. I want such hard proof that I just can't deny it. Now, there's a lot of proofs out there. The one about um, the Chicago sky skyline, I mentioned that a couple days ago. Uh, you know, I, I look at that as one heck of a proof. Um, there's been a lot of other things that I look at one heck of proofs. But let's get a, you know, something I plan on trying is I, I'm the telescope idea, I actually thought about this before you called me out on it, by the way, uh, Sinker, Sicker, whatever your name is. I can't. Um, if you're watching, hopefully you are. But uh, I plan on I planned on trying to get a high, a super super high powered telescope, and going to um, a super flat place, like let's just say, uh, let's just say the ocean. And seeing if I can see another state or another whatever across the water. You know, like say for instance down here in the Gulf, because I'm down in Texas. Uh, oh yeah, I probably never did tell you all that. I'm down in Texas, so all you Texans out there. Um, so if we were to go down on Piedra Island, down south of Corpus, on the Gulf, uh, theoretically, if we had a high-powered magnifying glass or a microscope, or not a microscope, uh, yeah, I said it right, microscope. Am I saying it right? No. A telescope. That's it. Um, sorry, there's too many different scopes. <coughs> anyway, a high-powered telescope plus a really, really good camera. <clears throat> I believe you can see another state. Or the opposite side of the state, at least. At least. 
So, uh, across water, and I say across water because I believe that to be the the flattest places on Earth, no matter what. Uh, these salt flats that I showed you just a minute ago, those are pretty flat, but they're not state longs. They're you know they're 50 miles or something, but they're not 500 miles or, 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 or 100 miles even. So. Um, uh, you know, I want something that goes so far that you just absolutely cannot deny it. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. Nobody will ever be able to deny it. Um, if that proof came out, if somebody went to the edge of the earth and tapped on the firmament, if somebody took and did something like what I was telling you I want to do and go start off the port of Chile go all the way to Antarctica or what we call Antarctica the edge the ice wall and even even if you're not in complete distance of where Antarctic Treaty starts but if you have a high enough powered camera to where you can zoom in on that wall and you can freaking uh, I know this isn't a circle but I don't have a, a circle right now but if you had, let's say for instance, this was a circle, just as an example, so people don't freak out. Oh, wait, 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 I got a better idea. Okay, look, this is more circular, sort of. Okay, so this is more circular, right? So let's say for instance, this is the ice wall. This wire right here is the ice wall. Okay, so you come to the ice wall where you can see it, even if it's, um, you know, uh, even if it's a, a 50 miles away, but where you can see it, and there's absolutely no doubt you can see it, right? And you were to travel and make a year's journey or whatever, and have two two cameras recording at all times, one show or three, four, five, six, whatever it took to prove without a shadow of a doubt, one to show that hey, this is the wall. We did not lose sight of the wall, no matter where we were at on the quote unquote planet or flat earth or whatever okay so one do that a camera there two have one with the direction of where you're going so say for instance the the captain is traveling at an outer pole towards the i believe that would be the right side would be the port side uh i think i think Anyway, to the right side or to the left, you know, is it is it is it this, or is it this, and a constant turn around, around this way, versus around this way, if that makes any sense. Like I, you know, I don't, I don't have a plate. I don't have a, I don't have a plate or a ball. So, but. Um, I need to get those, by the way. Don't let me forget. I'll order something on Amazon. Um, good idea. I'll order something on Amazon. But, uh, you know, I would love to be able to do that. I'd love to strike up an expedition that was going to take about a year. And with today's technology, we can get four or five cameras showing GPS coordinates, showing uh, everything that you might need. Stop at the ports on the way. You know, I, I mean, everything can be recorded everything can be recorded and you can condense it down to like let's just say 20 videos at 2.5 speed or three you know three times speed and it would a year would go by so quick i'm trying some things i, I would love to try some things uh, i would love to be able to build a big enough rocket and when I say a big enough rocket, I mean a big freaking rocket to do a fishbowl test like they do in, like they did back in the 50s, 60s, early 60s. I can't, of late 50s, early 60s. I can't remember exactly when it was. You know, the um, Operation Dominic, uh, fishbowl, uh, Operation Dominic. It was, it, ultimately it's fishbowl of the Lord is what that was meaning. But in, either way, um, you know, I I would love to, I, I wish I could try something like that. I'd probably get into a lot of trouble, but I would. I would try it. I would try it because it would prove once and for all. There's no, you know, I mean, 
you know, that or, or it would prove that we do live on a globe because it would just keep going. You know, I mean, I want to know. I want to know. I want I want the proof. I want the world to know the proof um, because of so many reasons. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video. Uh, I'm going to say thank you for watching again. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out my, some of my previous videos. Uh, a couple of them are pretty good. A um, couple of them kind of suck. But I'm new. I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better. This is just a quick video that I'm going to put on the second part of the other video, or yesterday's video. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do this. I apologize for the, yeah, my hair. Yeah, so, uh, okay. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm not even trying to make it look pretty. Okay, anyway, so. So, uh, like I had already said in, in, in the screen share, uh, mean comment guy called me out. So I got into this, this gentleman's video, Scott Manley's video, for 30 seconds. It's a video game. What am I supposed to say about a video game? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't play video games. I don't, I don't do stuff like that because it's a waste of time. It's a waste of my effort. It's a waste of my life. Okay. Now, when I say I don't play video games, when I'm at work and I have absolutely nothing else to do, I'll play Candy Crush. Okay. Okay. But I can't take my computer to work. I have to do things on my phone. And if I if I can't do if I can't um, if I'm not talking to anybody via comments or something like that or texting anybody, I don't you know I, I can't record out there. It's too loud. I can't do stuff like that. So I'll play Candy Crush. Okay, my bad. I apologize. I I, I play video games. But main comment guy, listen, bud, I, I, or ma'am whatever you are even though it says guy who knows in 2019 okay i'm not trying to offend you i'm not trying to upset you but i just don't do stuff like that look i'll go back into uh i'll go back into it here and i, I all right i'm back on the channel here's here's the here's the uh screen share um let me see if I can find something else. Martian orbital mechanic mistake. Uh, solid rock steer. Dragon two. I, I mean, I just, you know, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but a lot of this stuff is rockets, uh, drawn spacecraft buzzes, largest asteroid. You know, I mean, that to me is CGI. So. With that being said, uh, I apologize, but these videos are not useful to me. I want to know things, or I want to hear things about like, oh, this is how f far the sun is from the moon, and this is how far Jupiter is, and all this other kind of stuff, because I will bring them back to Earth in the sense of, Figuratively speaking, where, okay, if the, if the Earth is like such, then why can't you, you get, or why do you guys think there's planets or whatever? I mean, I, there is, there's planets, but anyway, that's, that's a totally different topic. Um, so I'm trying to make this quick, so I don't add in a bunch of time to my second part of the video. Um... I'm actually going to probably put this at the end if you're already watching it. Uh, you know, in video games, I just, I, I, how, what am I supposed to compete with a video game? I mean, I don't, I don't play it. So, and I don't, I mean, really and truly, I don't want to waste my time on it. I've got way too many other things to do right now. And, and I apologize, but at the same time, you know, I, I, this is just the way it is. Uh. I will check out those other ones that you had said. Uh, hey, though, this comment, that this last comment you left, <laughs> this is just, and this one got me. There is also a free program called Space Engine. If you search for it on YouTube, you could see what it can do. It's a model of the entire solar system that you can travel around speed time. Change the position of ob observation, zoom on things. I hope you can master it. Some people with age 
become less capable of figuring out new programs and technology like boomers who get confused by new stuff. I hope, I hope you not that kind of guy. <laughs> Meme comment guy, buddy, I'm, I'm 29 years old. Okay, I can, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. It might take me a little bit, but I can figure it out. <laughs> um, I, I will look at it. I will, I will look at it to humor you. Uh, Space Engine. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I've already looked at it. I've already seen it. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. I mean, what's the point of doing it when it's it's a computer program? I mean, literally, it's a computer program. You call it out yourself. You, you know it's a computer program. What am I supposed to do with it? Um, but I'll humor you. Uh, and then I'm going to go back into making some regular videos. So... Meme comic guy, I, I, I apologize, but at the same time, this is, this, I'm not going to argue with you over and over and over again. I do appreciate you becoming a, I, I believe it was you that became a subscriber. Uh, and I did say that I was going to check this stuff out. I'm going to check this stuff out. But I can only do to a point of, you know, I don't have, I don't have computer programs that I want to even try to use because I want the public to know this is legit, this is real. I'm that type of person, I don't, I do everything in my power not to lie. I'm not trying to offend anybody, I just, this is just the way it is. Uh, I, I don't lie, I don't look at programs that do lie. Uh, there's abs in my point of view, if I will look at this space engine, I'm not saying it's lying, because I don't know. But what I'm saying is it doesn't prove that there is, and to me, it doesn't prove that there's a, a space because it's a computer program. I want to see it with my own eyes. You know, it's just like NASA. When they come out, you know, I believed NASA for years. But then all of a sudden, the stuff, I'm finding out that, oh, 90% of what we're watching is CGI? Come on. Well, what a way to p tell a person you're lying to them. You know, I, I, I don't want to be lied to, and I don't want to lie to anybody. That's just the way I feel. That's my biggest problem right there. Don't try to sell me something as truth when you're lying through your teeth, okay? Um, people will see this stuff for themselves. People will understand it for themselves. But anyway, I'm going to end this. I'm going to go back into my uh, original part. Or I'm going to... Anyway. Biggest thing is I'm learning the programs that I'm working with. I'm learning how to uh, use them better. Uh, so, you know, my videos are getting better. Uh, check out the links I put in the description. One's going to be to Simon Dan's video or uh, channel. One's going to be to Rob Skiba's channel. Uh, and I, for, the kicks, for kicks and giggles, I'll go ahead and put... Um, Scott Manley's and Curtis Droid YouTube channels, and, uh, their links in the channel also. Uh, like I said earlier in this video, I just didn't see, you know, I, I, I can't go against video games and, and CGI NASA. I mean, I don't want to. Uh, I, it's fake. It's like trying to go to Hollywood or something. I, I'm not going to do it. Uh, um, the movie Gravity. Uh, don't get me wrong, it was a good movie. I liked the movie. With Sandra Bullock, it was a it, it was it was a good movie, but it was faked, and plain and simple, um, NASA they have the same technology, so why wouldn't they be faking it? So, but anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Uh, this is Andrew Riley with Breaking the System, and. Please subscribe to the channel, I think I already said that, and please press that like button, leave some comments in the comment section below, and we will see you all next time. Thanks.